Okay, in this problem we're asked to, if possible, express W as a linear combination of V1, V2, and V3. And we're given that W is 4, 5, 6. V1 is 2, negative 1, 4. V2 is 3, 0, 1. And V3 is 1, 2, negative 1. So we want to see if W is a linear combination. So what that means is we have So we want to see if there are constants C1, C2, and C3 such that this system is solved. So we have our vector V1, V2, and V3, and we want to find our constants. So we can write this actually as a system three equations. So we have So we have a system of equations in terms of C1, C2, and C3. And we know that we can write this as a matrix. the following way where we have our columns, our vectors v1, v2, and v3, and that's multiplied by our vector of unknowns, c1, c2, and c3, and that equals 4, 5, 6, which we know we can, sim we can solve this system by just s solving the augmented matrix. where we have our columns as our vectors v1, v2, and v3, and w is augmented with that matrix. So we can go ahead and start so solving this. We'll, go ahead, we'll swap rows 1 and 2, since there's already a 1, and we'll also negate that row. So we'll negate it first, and then we'll go ahead and swap it. So we swapped row 1 and row 2, and we get the following matrix. And now we can go ahead and multiply negative 2 times row 1 and add it to row 2 and set row 2 equal to that. So we have... And then we'll do similar, similarly, we'll set row 3 equal to negative 4 row 1 times row 1 plus row 3. So we get the matrix.
So we're given, so we get the following matrix. Our row one is the same as before. Row two goes to 0, 3, 5, 14. And row three goes to 0, 1, 7, 26. Go ahead and swap rows two and three since we already have a one in the second column of row three. So Okay, so now we want to go ahead and get rid of this 3 here. So we're going to let row 3 equal negative 3. Times row 2 plus row 3. And that will simplify our matrix to... Um, to the following, and we get negative 64. Okay. So we get on the left hand side, we're almost in our identity matrix. We almost have our identity matrix on the left. So we have our third column or row turns to 0, 0, negative 16, negative 64. And obviously we can scale our third row by a factor of negative 1 16th. Okay, so we have our third row turns to 0, 0, 1, 4. And now we can go ahead and get rid of the 7 and the negative 2 in our third column. So I'll just make some space. Okay, so we're going to take negative 7 times row 3 and add it to row 2. And set row 2 equal to that. And then for row 1, we'll set that equal to a 2 times row 3 plus row 1. So we get the following. So our first row is 1003. Our second row is 010 negative 2. And our third row is the same. So we get our identity matrix augmented with the vector 3, negative 2, 4. 
So we'll, we see that um, our C1 is equal to 3, our C2 is equal to negative 2, and our C3 is equal to 4. So we can go ahead and just quick check our work. So So we have 3 times v1 minus 2 times v2 plus 4 times v3 equals w. So we have 6 minus 6 is 0 plus 4 is 4. So our first component checks. Negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3 plus 8 is 5. And then finally, so our second component checks. And finally, we have 12 minus 2 is 10, minus 4 is 6. So our third component checks, and we found scalar multiples of v1, v2, and v3, such that their sum equals w. So it's possible to express w as a linear combination of v1, v2, and v3.